Hello and welcome to another show and tell. This time it's a print and play one called uh, Bonaparte in Italy, or Bonaparte in Italy, the Castiglione campaign 1796, uh, game by Jacques Rabier, White Dog Games. Um, to my um, shame, I haven't done many uh, show and tells on white dog games which is truly shameful because uh, I'm really a huge fan of the company I have many play games uh, that I made uh, most of them I uh, I, uh, I built physically built the games but I have quite a few well uh, I believe around four or five that I uh, haven't uh, built yet uh, and uh, I believe this is my first white dog games uh, video so uh, it's a sort of a reparation but um, a pale one because they do have good games I mean one of my favorite solitaire games is Don't Tread on Me it's been, uh, made by Ben Madison and uh, uh, that is a white dog games and I haven't made the video of that game yet maybe a playthrough sometime I don't know so we have a PNP I intend to do this year that uh, PNP uh, challenge on uh, board game geek I don't know how many games I will play I don't know if I could reach 50 games played 50 PNP games played this year maybe I don't know um, but uh, I'll be playing, uh, I'm, I'll be building games, uh, PNP, PNP games, and I'll be playing those that I've uh, built uh, uh, throughout uh, my gaming history, so throughout the, these few years that I've been a, a historical board, board gamer, or especially war gamer. So, um, Bonaparte in Italy, uh, for some reason I, I didn't print it on uh, label paper, I, for some reason the uh, uh, well, I wasn't paying close attention to the printer settings, I don't know, this came out on, uh, on landscape, we actually have a box here, you can build the box, and on the back came out a portrait. But uh, yeah, uh, these are for uh, I don't know for identifying the uh, the uh, ziplock bag maybe because um, I usually don't build boxes they uh, tend to get in the way uh, they uh, take up too much space. So game design Jacques Rabier, game art Jose Ramon Faura, dog design Mark Mahaffey, produced by Michael Kennedy from White Dog Games. So this is the uh, this is a point-to-point -point, uh, map style game. Uh, we have a map that I've built. Well, it's not my best. It's not my worst. I uh, the map should have had uh, uh, six sections, but uh, I couldn't get my printer to print it that way. So I printed out nine sections, you can see, uh, on uh, regular paper, laminated it and, uh, and uh, stuck them together with scotch tape. It's not the best, uh, it's not the worst, <laughs> I've had the worst, uh, but it's functional and uh, the best thing about PNP is that you can uh, make it uh the best that you can uh, or you can make it uh i don't know to be functional and if you really really like it you can make it to look awesome with uh, awesome components and stuff like that you need to mount the pieces on on cardboard and then uh, uh you can use book tape or other fancy stuff but um, I haven't uh, gotten to play it, this game, so I haven't tried it yet. This is not a review 
uh, if I enjoy the game, uh, I will do, I will, uh, maybe I'll update the uh, component quality. So, uh, we have a turn record track, sequence of play, um, contest description chart over here, map key, everything you need to play. I mean, to understand it, it's on the map. You, you, <laughs> you will need more stuff than that, of course. Uh, you have point to point map, Lake Garda, Northern Italy, uh, go to the bigger, uh, um, bigger towns, uh, like uh, Brescia, uh, Cremona, or Vicenza, or, um, Trent uh, over there, and of course, uh, Mantua, which was uh, one of the strategic uh, linchpins of the of the campaign um, I like the map uh, it has that uh, period feel um, we'll see how this works out how, how it uh, will function in the game um, then we have a bunch of counters I made them on uh, label paper and on a, a, a two millimeter uh, chipboard they came out okay -ish. they're not so great not lousy per se uh, there's a bit of misalignment but uh, I will uh, let me see but I will uh, uh, give the game a few tries uh, it doesn't does I don't really mind about this uh, let's see French counter some are better than the other um, they are functional uh, if I'll uh, really like the game I will make an update I keep them in this ziplock bag and everything will be in a bigger ziplock bag I made replacement uh, label paper uh, copies for the counters if I miss something or if if, uh, if the build uh, would have been really really bad I would have uh, replaced uh, I, will, I would have made uh, another set of counters but um, for now it's only a counter manifest if I lose something or something uh, I destroy a counter by mistake or something like that I could uh, make one or a repair one with these that's the beauty of PMP you can make copies as you like you can invest as much time as you want in making them um, I basically tend to be a lazy dude so uh, I make them as uh, as uh, I don't know as fast as I can of course with uh, I can I can make them make them faster by laminating a sheet of paper, but that would make the counters flimsy. So I still have they still have to be a bit sturdy or stuff like that. So you can do worse than this, but of course you can do much much better. So next we have a rule book, sim uh, simple paper, uh, staple them as a little booklet. The rules are uh, 13 pages, well actually 12 because the, on the last page we have credits. Um, they're not too long, I uh, flipped to drum, uh, th uh, through them, um, they are okay as such. Um, then we have, um, we have our playbook. with uh, some optional rules, fog of war, dummy counters, uh, leader casualties, French supplies, a little uh, small example of play, we'll have uh, an extended example of play uh, in a minute, so we have 8 pages, um, then we have uh, the extended example of play with full colors mm. 
nine pages that's what it is then we have the uh, extended sequence of play here you can see here and then the historical setup and uh, for the French and the Austrians and an optional free setup so this is uh, two pages and a bit <laughs> and then we have some record sheets um, these I've laminated because they can then you can use a dry eraser um, so we have uh, this is a French unit status record sheet so we have the various divisions Augereau, de Tunois, uh, Kilmain, Masséna, Sore, Serivier and the garrisons um, of course you can photocopy and uh, dispose of them after you, you play the game but uh, I think it's more uh, economical this way so, uh, the same for the Austrian units then we have uh, some um, game tables front and back so we have uh, three sheets well, one of the last sheet is an optional uh, uh, reconnaissance matrix but the other are not so optional well of course one of them are well these are optional these are not so we have a CRT here artillery bombardment terrain effect chart fort forced march table stuff like that and then we have something called the combat board um, which I um, kept at the original dimensions and uh, thus it um, cut a bit of the edge but uh, I don't really mind because the most important stuff begins here and ends here so these are the uh, uh, cohesion hits and I want it to be the same size so I want don't didn't want to reduce it in size in size so it's not so elegant I mean, but you can see that that's from the French player that's from the Austrian player as I've been uh, as I've been playing and I will be playing uh, games uh, mostly solo uh, if um, all parties uh, agree uh, about the quality of the components or uh, about the I don't know the rules and stuff uh, then everything is okay so uh, in my my case being a solo player mainly all the parties <laughs> so the the solo player agrees and uh, he agrees with himself and that's okay so that's about it about uh, Bonaparte in Italy the Castiglione campaign 1796 from White Dog Games um, show and tell wise um, and uh, hopefully we'll have an uh, after action report or uh, I don't know some uh, glimpses in a, in a battle report uh, soon enough um, well that's about it for now and um, uh, Thank you for watching and until next time, goodbye.